and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a fun day today. We're going to be doing some weird champion combinations today. Uh, you can see over here on the left hand side, we have, we're uh, starting with an Elise Garen deck. Um, and then we're going to have Draven Vladimir, Yasuo Ezreal, Team of Thresh, and Braum Jinx. So this will be a, a lot of fun today. Basically put together some, some new decks um, with just some some weird uh champion combinations um if uh <laughs> if you have like some ideas for if you're watching on youtube you have some ideas for some weird champion combinations that you'd like me to try out on a future stream feel free to let me know um uh, but yeah we'll get to our first deck here elise garen oh i guess one other thing we got the 12 hour stream starts tomorrow at 11 eastern if y'all are watching on youtube you can join us you know twitch.tv slash hawktie live uh we'll be playing uh some Legends of Runeterra to start with, and then we're going to be playing the brand new Resident Evil 3 remake comes out tomorrow on Steam. We're going to play through the whole game tomorrow for the 12-hour stream. That'll be a lot of fun. All right, but anyway, yeah, so this is a, uh, you know, a Spider Dawn Speaker deck. Um, so that's not that's not too new, but that's, that's like what I kind of came up with of having like Elise and Garen together, getting like Spider Dawn Speakers. And, um, but then we have like a good top end, like where we have Scythria, the bull that can, can help give our spiders, uh, fearsome and everything. We have Rekindler bringing back Garen or Elise. Um, this should be a, just a pretty decent deck. And I like how, uh, we have both Glimpse Beyond and Single Combat, two ways that we can, uh, kind of have some of our own units die. Uh, so Dawn Speakers can get that plus one, plus one more often. We can... Uh, kind of help trigger Dawn Speakers with these two cards. But should be pretty good. So let's go play five games. Let's see. We got Elise Garen. We're probably not going to have like the best records today. Because, you know, these are some, some weird decks. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be a good uh, a good stream playing, playing some new stuff. New stuff's always good. Harvey, you're just too far away for me to pet you. I can't quite reach you. Try it. All right, Ezreal Karma, the most popular deck. Let's see how we do. So we're gonna get rid of Vile Feast and uh, maybe keep all of these. This is gonna be like turn three away. Now we probably want to get rid of one of these cards. Um, I guess the Redeemer for now. And these two are kind of our, our combo. Hey! Uh, who, hot am I? I'm not sure. Uh, who? Uh, hoot am I? I'm not sure. Uh, exactly how to pronounce your name, but you are amazing. Thank you so much with, uh, Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up, Samantha? How you been? We're going to be tomorrow. Let's update our sub goal. Tomorrow we're doing our 12-hour stream where we're playing through Resident Evil 3, the new, the new Resident Evil 3 game. Comes out tomorrow on Steam. We're going to play through the entire game you name it, tomorrow during our 12-hour stream. Probably, who am I? Normally, I want to lead with Brood Awakening, but I realized that since we played um, the other one drop last turn, I didn't have the five mana. Could get denied, and that would be sad. Okay, good. That would have been sad. Our 
Gods did not fall in okay, from Germany. Welcome. They cannot hide. Well, thank you very much. Words thank move you, thank hearts you. and armies. Get him, Cythria. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, Karma Ez is a good deck. No, yeah, no, no shame in crafting that one. Um, I want to sacrifice this. No. Doing one damage to each of those. Ezreal's already at six targets. Okay, cool. Ephemeral, the, yeah, the Ephemeral Rush deck from last week. All right. Yeah, that was a good one. Be strong. Good. These are dark times. So the problem with using the Glimpse Beyond right there is that we don't get to take a an Ezreal target. But it looks like, like they're just going to be flipping Ezreal pretty easily. Like, if they have the stuff to combo kill me, I'm, I'm going to die. Um. Seven mana, so I can go Vile Feast, Vile Feast, Skitter. Vile Feast this to start with. I like that army, but wish you were just a little bit closer. Also, I need to be playing um, Elise there. I'm not sure. A long path to get you. We need our opponent to not have Ezreal to start with. It's like the first thing that we need.
the next thing that we need <clears throat> is our opponent to not have Ezreal. All right, so at least this is, you know, that's our, it's, they don't have like, you know, deny or will of Ionia. At least that's our creature dying. So we get to trigger both these Dawn speakers. It's not so bad. Our allies did not fall in vain. I'm so good, I surprised GG's. myself. GG's. Their deck's pretty good. Their deck is pretty good. We have three single combats in here, WQ. I cast one a little bit ago trying to kill the Karma, but it didn't work out. Can't really add more than three. All right, we don't need to sit through that. All right, next game. Okay, so we're playing a new deck, playing against Karma Ezreal. The new deck part of that was sarcastic. This is a better hand though. We actually have, you know, like we have a better turn to play. I mean, we had we had our, you know, a couple one drops last game, but they had removal spells for them. Hey pools, what's up? Oh, I need, I need to update my my board and my board and uh, guardian. This isn't a good board and guardian. I'm doing great. I'm I'm really looking forward to the stream today. I think that we're gonna have a lot of fun. And uh, then tomorrow, you know, we got our 12-hour stream. We're gonna be playing a lot. Of, we're gonna be playing through Resident Evil 3, the remake. on the docket for tomorrow. To I'm just going to go straight to attacks. They use removal on Elise. I'll play Redeemer. They may be trying to set... Yeah, it looks... So it looks like they're just setting up. Um, static shock. Play double horror. Is the it... yeah Final Fantasy VII remake should be great, but I think that's only on like Xbox and PlayStation or something like that. Is it on PC? My heart and sword. I feel like it may not be on PC, and, and therefore I may not, I may not be able to play it. Come on, 
Dang, these jury rigs. They got my Fleet Feather Tracker earlier. It's a really good block. Really good card. It lets them block. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Yeah, it's for PS4. Yeah, I, d I don't have a PS4. I think it may just be for PS4. Yeah, it looks like it's just for PS4. Probably just attack. I don't think. I mean, our our tracker can't kill Bezreal, so I don't think playing that is really worth it. Uh, we can get we can get an Elise back with Rekindler, but then I wouldn't have like the room to even make the spider whenever I'm attacking. I could definitely see them you know, using uh, something that kills the Garen, like a thermogenic beam. Like four mana thermogenic beam here. And so in that case, I want to keep my other Garen available. So we'll play Elise. And I have five mana still. So if they thermogenic beam, I play new Garen. Okay, they did not, so that means I get just get to rally. But that's pretty awesome. Watch and learn. Anivia Timo next week? Okay. Man, these jury rigs killing me. So I'm guessing they have Will of Ionia to bounce Garen. And then Mystic Shot the 3 2. I can use the Garen's Judgment to get rid of Ezreal. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we just cast the Garen's Judgment and just that just kills Ezreal. So then they only have one card left, and they won't have a leveled up Ezreal. I'm going to keep three creatures in play. And Dawn Speakers. And pump these three up. By the strength of our convictions, our allies did not fall in vain. We strike! Get up. Oh, 
Probably could have played stuff pre-combat. For justice, for Demacia. It's probably worth it. I should have gone Aristocrat and then Vile Feast Aristocrat. It's actually now I realize that I should just be Vile Feasting this. I was just going to play this and then Aristocrat. I was going to play my two one-drops, and then I realized that no, I should actually just be killing it for Dawn Speakers. So obviously I should have just done that with the Aristocrat. Oh, and then I could have played Aristocrat also, but I don't think really any of this matters. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they're just dead. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so one and one. That game went a lot better for us against Ezreal Karma. That time, like, we played Garen and got to, like, attack with Garen. And they didn't bounce Garen right away. Remember the previous game, we played the Scythria and they bounced the Scythria right away. And then I was uh, just too slow after that. Alright, Draven Jinx. So discard burn. Alright, you don't play against discard burn all the time. It's a cool deck. Take it. Boom. So main question is I think maybe I'd like just attack with the lease. We could use the bite. They block my one one. Okay, or they don't block the one one. Well, I wanted them to block the 1-1 one, one, so that then stuff would grow. I'm still going to play the Dawn Speakers here because next turn I can play the Horror in single combat and we'll have the Horror fight uh, Draven or Jinx. <laughs> we'll fight one of them. You should try blinking sometime. Just gonna put this here. What's your hurry? Which one do we need to kill, Draven or Jinx? Maybe Jinx? If this works, we'll trade Horror for Jinx. out of here too. Our allies did not fall in vain. I can do this. Attack with all these other things. As Demacia wills it. Yeah. That's always been there.
So yeah, maybe I don't need to be getting into combat with the Dawn Speakers. What's the worst that could happen? that five one boom crew rookie. Immerse yourself in the Yeah, the Dawn Speakers have been awesome. I probably didn't need to get get into combat with it though. But you know, they used a might. Uh, it's not a might that's dealing damage to me. So that's very good. Time to go. Still got three cards, of course, because they just drew three new ones. Mm. A lot of different options here. I think the best option to get eight points of damage in is playing playing this and being able to attack with all the spiderlings. Alright, GG's. Two and one. Stay away from that switch. It actually helped me that they used you know they used the uh to get excited when they did. They should have used that during combat. That's when they should have used it, was during combat. Alright, but yeah, our first, um, our first weird champ deck. Doing well, you know, already got, uh, already two and one. This, this may be the strongest of our decks today, also. Started off with a good one. We got some weird ones today. Hammerdinger Karma. Garen and Sithria are gonna go. Um, I think we keep both of these. We just look like a normal spider deck. There's nothing to fear. You name it, I'll nick it. That's unfortunate. That was a really good card to slow down my elise. Quite unfortunate. Well, I guess if I if I have to block, there's no reason for me not to attack. There's no reason for me not to attack the last turn. So I just don't have a um, a spider that I could have had. That was a really good pickpocket.
pedo. That was also a very good deny. So, not liking our chances so far. I want some spiders. I want some spiders. Answers. I have them. All right, got some spiders. Hey, Dio. <laughs> yeah, just three games. That's, that's not too bad, though. Uh, we, we have a sweet lineup for today, Dio. Uh, put together a whole bunch of, you know, put together five new decks with just some weird champion combinations. It would be a, a fun stream today. So we're going to be sacrificing this so they don't get the turret from Heimerdinger. And also, you know, we get to draw our cards and everything like that. It's a really good glimpse beyond. Cool. Yep, YouTube's always a good good place to get caught up. Dang. Another great deny. Alright, well, the game's probably over. Because Heimerdinger busted. But we'll see. If I must. No, get excited would have fizzled out. If, if they didn't use deny there, get excited would have fizzled out and they would not have gotten a 3 1. Because uh, the, the target would have been gone. It. All right, so Rekindler can bring back Elise, which would then immediately transform. Or level up. What's up, Blade? One candle for every sun. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It would not work anymore. Uh. Boo. Man, Heimerdinger is good. It's very, very good. Let's try attacking here. We'll bring peace to Ionia. 
whatever the cost. of will. Kind of hoping they were going to play something we would get to respond to it. But now I hope they don't have anything. You know, I wanted them to be able to tap out. I really don't want them to have anything. Okay. That's very good to get Heimerdinger out of here, but now we still have to deal with Karma. Out of the Vile Feast, but... Hopefully that will work. They've used two denies already. What you looking for? Do, do, do. Come on, Valve East work. They're, they're thinking about it. Hope it works. Hope it's, you know, not like a barrier or anything like that. Well, darn. Hey, Boo. Um. Playing the Vanguard Redeemer would give me a shot of, like, I would have lethal if they don't have any spells in hand. I think that that's... And, you know, don't draw a spell. I think that's very unlikely. So that's basically their whole deck. Therefore, we'll have the Redeemer for afterwards to draw another card. So we're going to be doing our 12-hour stream tomorrow boot with uh, Resident Evil 3. Going to be playing through the whole game. Yeah, so they, they would have had Mystic Shot. Um, but I guess they would have had to use... Maybe, I guess they would have had to use Mystic Shot to stay alive, maybe? So, so then they wouldn't have been killing me with Mystic Shot, so maybe I should have just played it. I 
Uh, no, these champs don't necessarily have uh, synergy. No, they're they're ones that that are basically never played together, and um, and so that's what we're doing. We're we're having fun brewing today, and putting together some new decks and and trying out uh, some new stuff. This this deck that we're currently playing is probably our best deck of the day, but we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun. Um, what are we mulliganing? Do we just get rid of both of these? Yeah. We're going to need some interaction or, or something. Because this is, uh, you know, this is going to be the elusive deck, and with the elusive deck, we're going to need to be able to keep the elusives under control. I, I can absolutely see the elusives giving us problems. I must get out of here. There are a bunch of small spiders. There are a bunch of big buffed up elusives that we can't block. This doesn't seem like a good matchup. <laughs> yeah, Doomed Aristocrat. It's the real name of the card. Okay, they, they took the pass on turn one. What a bold strategy. It took them a long time to think of what to do. They finally decided to pass on turn one. So we'll see. Check in tomorrow what they'll do on turn two. Could do anything. Shh, quietly. From the trees. Yeah, no, we're we're in the last game, and I already and I've been forgetting to change the the minion and uh, um, our guardian and our uh, board. It's already too late. I'm going to be playing Skitter next turn before combat. Sure. Maybe I don't play Skitter before combat then. Maybe I just attack with both. And then they block and trade, and then I play Dawn Speakers and grow. May not block and trade. We'll play Skitter. Definitely going with the Dawn Speakers right now. Grow the Skitter to be above Zed. By the strength of our convictions. Oh, come on. Always have the best card. Speaking of best card, Fleet Feather Tracker, definitely up there in a best card rate rating. Words move hearts and armies. In the name of the fallen. Definitely up there in best card rating.
Um, I think I just let it happen. And save Glimpse Beyond? Yeah. Be strong. I like how we have like the two mana banked for, for Glimpse Beyond now. Um, you know, if, if we don't have a creature die. We can glimpse, you know, like they because they may not attack. Like they're probably not attacking. Um. By the strength of our convictions. Yeah. It's possible now they attack, but. You know, we do have the Skitter. I want to draw an extra card with this Redeemer. Oh, man. Never mind. We're not even going to draw an extra card with the Redeemer. Hearts and armies. Our allies did not fall <laughs> in vain. That Dawn Speakers. Those Dawn Speakers are sick. Um, let's see. Basically, my worst case scenario is that they have the big life linker, right? They have like the five-five elusive life linker. It's like my worst case scenario. Hey, Wrangler! Happy Thursday. For justice, for Demacia. Obviously, just attacking in like we have good attacks, but I'm I can't I don't think I'm even going to be able to race elusives though because they can do like a little bit of chump blocking. I think it's going to be difficult racing elusives right now. So I want I want to play Garen and try to strike twice with Garen and and get this set. Okay, so that thing's a five five. So that's not as bad. So, I mean, see, like, they have seven elusive. They can halfway kill me already. That's not good. No spell. We need to attack out and... Likely on, on their turn, rally and be able to attack out again. Maybe I should have played Elise. Maybe I should wait and try to play, you know, and then just play Sithria the next you turn during this turn. Yeah, maybe playing the Elise was wrong when we have Sithria in hand. Could have gave all these things a fearsome. Say we're at like 50-50 or probably even a little under 50-50 to win. Something like that. Well, probably about 50-50 to win. But the longer how they're taking like a long time here, it does make me feel better. It feels like we're like 55 or 60% to win. Okay, well now they just passed. They're, yeah, we're like 100% to win now. We a bite. So it looks like we're going to be three and two. They didn't have it. They didn't have enough elusive power. Victory. Oh, we're so close for that chest. All right, so there we go. So that's Garen Elise. Three and two. Good record. Um, pretty cool deck. You know, like if... 
uh, spiders with dawn speakers. I think dawn speakers is just underplayed in general. I think I need to play more dawn speakers um, in the challenger decks, also like the bannerman decks. Uh, you know, like you can set it up like with your with your challengers, have your challenger, um, you know, attack and and sacrifice your challenger to give all of your other allies plus one plus one. You know, basically get even more bannerman triggers. I feel like I'm. I feel like Dawn Speakers is underplayed. But yeah, pretty cool deck. Uh, we lost two times to control decks that uh, just had you know had some good hands. They, they beat us. The control decks are really good. We did beat a control deck the other you know another game, and then we beat two more aggressive decks. All right, so that's our first deck here with Weird Champ Day. Should have done this yesterday where when it was Wednesday, and we would have had Weird Champ Wednesday. But, um, you know, that's life. We're, it's on Thursday, so it's Weird Champ Day <laughs> instead of Weird Champ Wednesday. Uh, but this this will be fun today. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this deck. And um, if you have other ideas for some Weird Champ combinations or anything like that, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of, of just this whole um, this whole idea. All right, but that's it here for Elise Garen. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.